You're live. Hey, Melody Sweets here, and welcome to Sweet Spot, baby. Baking up some crazy. Everybody's coming to Sweet Spot at noon. Ah. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? We have a fabulous show for you today. We are making a pistachio mousse cake with a hidden cherry heart surprise in the middle and a layer of pistachio and walnut brownie and it's delicious in your mouth with chocolate glaze and all of that before we get going i would like to get some music happening up in here and we have a very very special guest all the way from his new movie it's a what's that movie called lost Apes. the kingdom Singers. of the planet of the apes the kingdom of the planet of the apes Put your hands together for Benny Bonobo! Yay! Woo! Woo! Things up nice, huh? That's soup. How you doing, Benny? He's looking very civilized. He's looking like a dapper monkey. Is it a monkey? Is he technically a monkey? He's an ape. Ooh, baby. All right. And with that being said... We are going to introduce the beautiful resident sexy sous chef herself, Miss Buttercup Delight. Woo woo! Buttercup puts the butt in Buttercup. Woo woo! You can see Buttercup in season one of Sweet Spot. She is in the very first episode, which is a Valentine's Day episode, so I hope you watch it if you haven't yet. And she's also in the finale where craziness happens, and, and she shows us a very unique talent that she can do with her, but her cup. <laughs> you ready to bake, baby? I am. Thanks for having me back. Woo, you're here all the time. <laughs> we love having buttercup. So in-house, we have the beautiful Miss Tickle, who will be channeling all your questions. Yeah, she's so hot. And her. her innermost desires. So bring them on, bring them on. And of course, the beautiful Penny Pivot. Woo! 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 Who will be doing her delicious penny pours and getting us a little wasted at noon, mm -hmm. which is the probably the only reason why I continue to do this live stream every Friday. Hey, happy to support. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have a few people with us already. Hi, hey everybody. Slaking Full says hello, but you may have to hey, leave baby. for a work podcast. Oh, fine. Yeah, and Bruce Bruce says, I love the sweet spot. Oh, thank you, Bruce Bruce. <laughs> that is a direct cycle. Well, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, we are making a delicious pistachio mousse cake with a little heart surprise in the middle. And we have a very special guest coming in a little bit later, the stunning pinup model extraordinaire, Miss Eden Eve. She will be uh, modeling some Rock and Betty, our favorite sponsor, a sweet spot. This is a Rock and Betty dress. It makes the curves go nice, doesn't it? All right, let's get to bacon. So the first thing we're going to do is make a pistachio mousse. And we will have a little trash bowl here. Get the cream out of the fridge. Out of the fridge. <laughs> out of the fridge. So I have weighed out the uh, ingredients already. The ingredients will be in the list below the, um, the video in a little bit. But we have some heavy cream here that Buttercup, hey, Buttercup is going to whip up into a frenzy to a nice, light, soft peak. And while she is doing that, I am going to ask the beautiful Miss Penny Pivot if she could melt some chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, what do I do? Just put my hands yeah. here. The chocolate and the yes. You are hot. Yeah. Yeah. So we have white chocolate and I recommend using a very good quality white chocolate. I'll bring out the bag that I use in a minute. Uh, 30 seconds. That means I have to make the noise. Yes. It only works if you make the noise. Okay, let me get the key. Perfect. Okay. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, and then another 30 seconds, and then another, like that. If you, if you like, sing, you know, like, for example, if, you, uh, if you're superstitious, you then knock, knock, 
not going to do it. If you sing it, it reinforces it. It's the same in a bake. If you talk to it, it'll taste better. All right, here we go. So we are going to get our gelatin bloomed, like Felicity Munson called it. We're going to put an anvil bloom it. And then once she said that, I can't help but put gelatin in all of my food because I love the Orlando bloom. All right, I'm getting off topic. All right, so what I have here is a few leaves of gelatin. We have four grams of gelatin. I broke them in half. I don't know if you can see it because they're clear. Yeah, we can see that. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. So I broke them in half to fit into my little here. <laughs> and we are going to soak this in very cold water. And you do this for, you let it soak for about two to three minutes until they get a bit mushy. And I'm just going to show you how to put them in there because I did it. You want to crisscross them so that they don't get stuck together. And these are just little magic sheets. We're going to let that bloom, Orlando bloom. Danny Bonobo, you are doing wonderful. I've never yeah. known such a talented egg. That's including some of my ex-boyfriends. Hey, ma'am. All right. So while that is blooming, we are going to get pistachio paste. So you can buy pistachio paste in the store. Probably Whole Foods would have a good one. But I just like to ground my own pistachios. It takes a minute and it won't get as, as creamy and smooth as a, a, a pistachio butter that you can buy. But I quite like the texture and the oils that the pistachio releases in the mousse as we mix it in. So I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that, Mr. Well? Uh, yes. I, yeah, yeah, I can see that. So I just really ground up. I just like putting my fingers in the Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands really quick. I'm feeling like I should have baked with a banana today. Did we stock up on bananas? <laughs> While the animal is loose. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. We got white chocolate in a big bowl. We are going to mix in our gelatin. So what we need to do with 
this first. It's me yeah. the water. Sounds okay. Right. So Okay. And we're gonna put it in a little thing and we are gonna microwave it for about five to seven seconds. Just until it's melted. Thanks, Benny Bonobo. <laughs> My little dance. All right. It's not working. Here we go. So, we got our pistachios ready. And we've got our gelatin ready. Thank you, madame. And you want to liquefy it since we're not adding the gelatin into a boiling mixture. So, I'm putting that into the white chocolate. Guys. And then you want to mix that quickly. Now you can't see that, but it mixes right in because your chocolate is still warm. So once you add the gelatin, you do need to move kind of quick. <laughs> Speaking of, we should have been old with this. Oh, no. Moving right along. So this is the one that I made last night, but I need to use this container. So live TV, everybody. So we are demolding the cake that we're going to eat today. Summer or cream. Yes, please. Wish me luck. Isn't that kind of satisfying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you just have to be careful because there is a design on the top. Okay. Can you give that a quick jamie down? Ooh, look at that. Wow. We're going to cover that in a mirror glaze in just a bit. So I want to put that in the freezer because the mirror glaze needs to be put onto a frozen cake. Does that have an ice cream center? Slaking Fool wants to know. It does not. It has a cherry cake center with hearts. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Slaking Fool. What a good question. I appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to hurry up. We're going to get this all together so that we can bring in the beautiful Miss Eden Eve. And she's going to show you one of my favorite Las Vegas designers, the Rockin' Betty. If you ever have a chance to go visit Rockin' Betty, ladies, or anyone, it is on, they moved, is it to, what is it, on 3rd? Rockin' Betty? On 3rd Street, I think, in California? Something like that? <laughs> Alright, so we've mixed in the gelatin and the pistachio. We are going to add just a little bit of cream at first to um, introduce it so that it doesn't shock it, I guess. I actually don't really know the reason, but I'm just going with what works. So you can see the oils from the pistachio go right into that cream. And then you just want to keep putting in a little bit at a time. Hey, Buttercup. Will you please grab the plate out of the freezer that has all the little cutout parts? Okay. Oh, we're doing great on time. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Now this. So, what uh, Buttercup is unwrapping is a cherry cake that I made last night. I cut out little heart uh, shapes with my heart cookie cutter. And the, the trick here, the secret is, is you want the hearts to be frozen so that when you place them into the mousse, it will set the mousse pretty much instantly because when the mousse and the gelatin hit cold, the gelatin sets. So it will allow the heart to not sink all the way down to the bottom of the pan. All right, so if you can see all the delicious, chunky yumminess. And 
You can put uh, a little bit of pistachio extract in there, but when I just go So we're going to just put in the bottom layer and shake it up a little. You want to get it into the mold so that you get the waves and the, the mold. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to start in the middle so that when you cut it, you have a better chance of actually cutting into the heart. And you want to put it upside down because when we demold it, we're going to flip it over. <laughs> Stepping on doggy toy. So we're going to go right in the middle and you kind of hold it there and you can feel the resistance. It won't go all fall all the way down. I know you can't see that. We need to get some top action. Mm -hmm. All right, so you just keep on going in there and you smash them together. And like I said, because it's frozen, it won't go all the way down. You smoosh them together as tight as you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, and I'll lift it up and show you if you can't see it. Can you see it? You can see the edge of it. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, I think that's good. That's enough? Awesome. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can yeah. see. So, we, you could go all the way to the end, but Alright, so now we are going to fill the rest up with this beautiful pistachio mousse. Get it right on top of the hearts first to help it all set. And I have to um, I have to admit something. There is supposed to be a chocolate brownie layer that goes on the top of this, but when I made it, I was trying to make sure it tasted perfect and ended up eating <laughs> so pretend that we have a delicious brownie you'll see it in the finished one i promise so what you would do if you didn't already eat your brownie like i did you will put the brownie right on and you will push it down gently until it comes flush with this and you would take your little jammy jam and clear it off and I've showed you in a previous live stream how to do that with the mousse cake, but uh, so you're just gonna have to look. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw this right back into the freezer. And with this cake, you wanna let it sit overnight because it's a lot of mousse, it's thick, and we'll just, we're gonna open that freezer. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, uh, you, so you made a sheet cake and you cut out hearts from it. Nice. So it's yes. flaking full. Yes. And that sounds delicious in Matthew Boche. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Before we get going on the glaze and the decoration, I want to bring out one of my favorite. Fall oh, apart over here, you guys. I'm telling you, she's rogue. She likes to come out for the live stream. Ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the stunning pinup model extraordinaire, rockin', rockin' Betty clothing, Eden E. <laughs> Eden is wearing a pink halter top outfit. <laughs> and it is a very flattering fit. It comes in an array of sizes. The material is durable and soft and hugs all your curves. Oh, I love that metallic shimmer. Mm -hmm. Beautiful color for the sweet spot. Kitchen. Of course, she rocks it. Beautiful, beautiful. With that racking, heavy um, purse. Woo Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for you. Amazing. <laughs> I would be a horrible 
<laughs> that was just a warm up. Next time. I was next like, time. I don't know my words right now. She's really pretty. It's shiny. <laughs> Imagine like it's food, you know? Mm. Describe me. And that gets a little dangerous. Like Eden is wearing this delicious strawberry pink. Oh, it kind of works, doesn't it? All right, moving right along. So I want to show you how to do a glaze. And um, I'm going to prep for that while we bring up the beautiful Penny Pippins. Is that, are you all right with that? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you you want to have zoom out ready? a little bit there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you uh -huh. go. You're ready. Oh, hey, sweet fam. Said uh, Letty. Letty's with oh, us. Hi, Letty Lopez. Letty Lopez did all the makeup for season one of Sweet Spot. She made me fabulous. And those were some early mornings for me, anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Penny Pivots with Penny Pores. Woo! Hi. Uh, thank you. I uh, decided to wear my bartending outfit today, and I folded my sleeves, because bartenders always fold their sleeves, right? So, there it is. Okay, so today, Melody was like, make something with cherry. I know I've made something with this before, but... It's a good staple to have, a little bit of sour cherry syrup. You can get it at a Middle Eastern store. It could be any Middle Eastern. It could be uh, Lebanese. It could be Alban uh, 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 Albanese. Albanian? Albanian. <laughs> Albanian, Armenian, um, you know, all of the things. So, uh, so, so look at it. Get some apple juice. Why? Why are you in your own kitchen right now? Yeah, how dare you? Get some uh, apple juice. Get some bubbly, bubbly water. And I've kind of made something like this before, but I've, I'm kind of perfecting the thing. So I am Armenian. I love cognac or brandy if it's not made in cognac. It's like one of those bullshit things where they're like, it's not cognac unless it's made in cognac, the, uh, the, the, um, the place, but it's the same shit. Like so, champagne. Yeah, exactly, like champagne. Yeah. So everyone just relax. Um, I like to support Armenian things. This is the Ararat uh, brandy, and it's really good. Okay, um, and then I brought, uh, oh, I need to get those glasses and my ice. Okay, so today I brought this is usually meant for tea, but I thought it would be fun for you guys to see the process and the measurements while we were using this. Um, so I'm gonna use it. Oh, one, one thing before I start mixing, who wants to know what's the proper amount of cognac or brandy to put in their snifter? Here is a cool, cool little thing to like show off about. Tilt the cup. And then pour until you can't pour any longer. And that's how you know how much to get. That seems like a lot, but okay. I mean, I'll drink it. You're gonna do it. Okay. So that, I just wanted to show that. And um, usually brandy or cognac you serve in this beautiful little glass. Um, and usually cognac, I feel like, is like an after dinner thing. So if you're enjoying cognac, it's like a sip. Super. If cognac is too much for you and you're like, oh my god, what am I drinking? Like, this is a lot of alcohol. I'm making this drink for you. I wouldn't do this. I like it straight. But it actually tastes pretty good. And it's like, it's kind of light. It's like, ooh, hmm. Is that, is there alcohol in there? So just be careful when you're drinking. All right. So we're going to fill up this. Fill it up with some ice. Okay. And then um, we're going to put some of the sour cherry. I don't measure. I should measure. I don't measure. So we're going to wow. do it by eyeball. Yeah. And then you know and then you know how much you want to, like, alter it. Like, some people like sweeter. Some people like a little more bubbly. This is what I like. I'm going to make it how I like. So you're just going to kind of coat it. That seems good. That seems good. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pour, are those, um, 
I just need that cut in half. So normally you would put cognac or cognac, if you're saying it with an Armenian accent, in a snifter, but today we're going to put it in here. So I am just going to put, you know what, I'm going to put it in this down. I know, it's like cartoony. Just in half, if you need it? Well, yeah, that's fine. I'm just squeezing it. So you're going to put how much alcohol you like, right? So I'm going to put like that much. That feels good. That feels right to me. And then, uh, we've got our sour cherry. We're going to put a little bit of apple juice. Not too much. Oh, I thought you were like a compress, <laughs> like I'm sweating. Compress, compress. It's so hard. Hey, that's a fun use for a handy brew mixing cocktails, said Flaky Fool. Thank you. Yeah, I, this is normally for tea, but this is what we're going to do today. And by the way, Buttercup is on point, oh. he also said. He is. Oh, yeah. She is. We she is the best yeah. assistant. She has the best assets. Oh, All right. Uh, so we put the thing and the thing. We're going to save the bubbly water, but we're going to mix this up. Oh, it's spilling. Maybe this is not a good idea. <laughs> All right. So we put this in. Oh. What? what? That's oh. looking cool. Can you see it in the thing? Yeah. No one's yeah. behind the camera. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have that. So we have our cognac, we have the sour cherry, we have the apple juice. We're going to put bubbly water. That was like a magic trick. And then for just a little bit of grounding, I like to put a little bit of bitter. Before, like without the lime, I was like, there's something missing, there's something missing. Lime. A little bit of lime. I, I did lemon first, and I realized uh, lime better. So we put a little squeeze of the lime on top. I really don't know if you're supposed to do it like at the end or whatever. And then there you go. That's your drink. It's like it, a little fizzy. Is, is that my drink? drink? Yeah, this is for you. <laughs> drink it and then tell me what you think. Okay, I'm going to drink it. One minute more cheese. Um, and then I'll make some for everyone else uh, after I get out of Melody's way. What? Wow, it's good, right? That is so good. It's what did so you call it? Oh, I called it a oh, rum fun dum dum. No, uh, that's the audience. Cherry. What should we call it, guys? Cherry what delight. What call this drink? Cherry delight. Cherry delight. Yeah. Penny peas, cherry delight. Or if you guys think of something better, like we'll go with that, which I'm sure you want. I love it when our audience gives us suggestions for naming okay, I'm gonna stuff. Take all this so, stuff back in. okay, for everybody. Yeah. Are you, are you good? That's good? Thank you. Oh, oh and you know what? I brought cherries too. That's a but big drink. <laughs> it's not. It, they're not. Well, maybe it is. Maybe I should make it a smaller one. It'll look prettier. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Cheers. The whole cherry. <laughs> Thank you. That's Penny Pours. Yay, Yay Penny. Penny! You can make this drink without any alcohol in it. If you're like, I don't feel like alcohol, or if you're like, I don't drink alcohol, don't put the cognac in there. And it's just Ooh, like a how, bubbly cherry like, how, mix. Thing. How about cherry knack? Cherry knack. Cherry knack. Oh, cherry knack. From Slaking Fool. We're gonna have the same hair today. We do. Sisters yeah. from another mister. Actually, making one that I've never made before, so yay live television. 
Um, so what we've done is we've melted uh, some sugar, some hot cream, and some water, and then added some cocoa powder. I used dark and bitter because it's like my soul. It tastes great though. And then what you want to do is take a sieve and put it through the sieve. What is it called? Is it called a sieve? Um, You're a sieve. I'm a sieve. I've only, I basically have like, learned all my cooking terminology from the Great British Bake Off. So there's that. So you can totally correct me if my terminology is wrong. All right, so you can see that we are leaving a lot of the uh, un blended and melted cocoa behind. Probably took too much. <laughs> okay. All right, and then we are going to get that. Woo, thank you. That is the reason why I do this show. For the drinks. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Isn't that delicious? Okay, I'm just uh, going like this. And then we have Orlando Bloom, some more gelatin. You gotta squeeze it. Ooh, squeeze it. Mmm, All right. And then you want to add it straight to your chocolate. And it will all melt. I just kind of want to bathe myself in this. Is that weird? I'm sure, it would be good for my skin, All right? Sugar bath. Burning hot chocolate? Yeah. I mean, you know, let it cool a little. <laughs> okay, so you want to get all the gelatin in there and make sure that it has all melted because it wouldn't be very pleasant to have a ball of gelatin in your mouth unless it was Orlando. All right, calm down. Okay, so we are going to set this aside and let it cool just a little bit before we put it on our pistachio mousse cake. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring back the ultra glamorous, beautiful, extremely tall pinup models, Miss Eden E. Woohoo! That bamboo print. Wow, that can be worn in the daytime, at nighttime. It looks like a all-around beautiful cocktail dress. Oh, it has a little bolero lined with pink. Oh, thank you, Amy. Amy Ortiz of Rock and Betty. Oh. The beautiful pink belt. And that necklace. Yes, wow, that necklace Look at that very necklace. Nice. I love these looks. Thank you, Eden Eve, everybody. And Eden Eve was also very helpful to us on our episodic yes. shoots. Uh, Eden Eve did a lot of the hair and helped with makeup and every all the looks. You know, she's uh, helped with all of that. Especially those the Elvis, Elvi. The entire episode, the second episode, the Elvis episode, she Elvied. That's the total plural word mm -hmm. for multiple Elvis. It's not Elvis's. It is Elvis. A, a collective so now. Yeah. A collective. Uh, collective. Yeah. Like flamingos or yeah. flamboyants. Isn't that fun? Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at Pearl's sad face. You can't see my dog's sad face in Orlando. All right, we're getting back to the bank here. How are you doing back there, Benny Bonobo? Yay, Benny! If you're just tuning in, my name is Melody Sweets. This is Sweet Spot live stream. We are uh -oh. making... Are we getting the ape drunk? Is that a good thing? Oh, uh, oh my God. Oh, okay. The, the monkey's getting drunk. Yeah. yeah, baby. I just wanted to point out he has this cute pin. Yeah. You want, you want to show us that? Come, come a little closer there, Bonobo. 
So this pin is magic. It's a, uh, a vibrator <laughs> that he just happens to carry around with him in case he needs it. Now that is a man with some forethought that mm -hmm. I could appreciate. Yes, right yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a little sippy sippy and then we're going to start dipping some cherries and some gold leaf. Mm. We are doing so good on time. Okay, so let's get this bowl. All you need to do is put water into a bowl. It doesn't necessarily have to be cold. Just water will do. Um, if you could bring over the cherries, this uh, cortica. And I have cut the gold leaf. I want to make sure it's edible gold leaf into little squares. And all you do is put it on the water. Can you see that? And then you just like that. And now sometimes the water you can see gets in, so you kind of want to help flatten it. You could probably use less gold leaf, but you see. And it's easy as that. So like you could even like cut these in half and just not do the whole thing. Yeah, uh -huh. and just do like a little, but it, cool. it just flattens out easy on the, oh my god, isn't that fun? It's so, it's so satisfying. Oh, I love it. <laughs> right? I just want to kind of dip everything in gold leaf for now. So while Buttercup is doing that, uh, we are going to, I have to bring out Eden again because I'm actually really impressed with her quick change. <laughs> she just did. So again, put your hands together for Eden's third look. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that oh, shawl. Gorgeous. Isn't it amazing? Can we also seriously a, a hand for how quickly she changed into this outfit from the other one? That is professional. See, and it works beautiful with the cocktail that she's holding. Like any pores. And what is this shirt called? So like a, it's like a little cardigan. It's a cardigan. I can't get my words because I'm flabbergasted from even these two beautiful. <laughs> And it's a beautiful floral print with birds and wildlife with beautiful matching coral pink cardigan with scalloped edges and covered yeah. buttons. Yes. And she is rocking a fringed shawl. Thank you so much, Eden. <laughs> yes, Scalloped. You're beautiful. Yes, wow, yes. Wow. <laughs> Oh, awesome. hi, hi gangsters, love you, Rex Dart. Oh, hey Rex, hi, how Rex. are you? Nice to have you here with us. Oh, and Cat London likes the old style fashion show. Thank you very much. Yay, I'm glad. I, uh, I love Rock and Betty's clothes. I love Amy, the owner of Rock and Betty. Uh, she actually has supplied us with some ice cream from her ice creamery. Would it cream me ice creamery down on Main Street in Las Vegas? And did she not also supply us with uh, some clothing for our yes, shoot? Uh, for Sweet Spot, uh, the entire series. series, and for the PR stuff, she supplied all of the amazing dresses. This was one of them. Do we need to take the ice cream out? Yeah. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Look at how cute the packaging is. is. Oh. It creamy, was, like, ice cream. Hold on, wait. Wait, let me get a good boob shot. Oh. Hi. There we go. Oh, baby! Oh, you're so hot, you're gonna melt that ice cream. Who said that? My clothes are Oh, you out. said that. I said that. Who <laughs> <laughs> said that? So All right, so our buttercup is um, dipping the cherries. This is coming to a cooler temp. I am going to prep the cake 
and uh, then we will get to mirror glazing. This is so cool. I've cool. never seen this before. This is a, what fun. a great technique. It looks like magic. magic. And it's yeah. magic. There's so much magic in this show yeah. today. So your hands need to be dry before yeah. you grab a, a new sheet. Otherwise, it will yeah. just stick to it. Is that to catch the drip? Yeah. That, yeah. It should go the other way. But you know, live TV, I'm wearing it all the time. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, because it's in the freezer already. You spot the knob. Anyway. All right. So we've got our frozen. Oops. We can put that there. Benny Bonobo is well juiced up back there. Oh yeah, he's nodding his his head. Cheers to Benny Bonobo. It's a happy monkey. Cheers. so that it doesn't melt your chocolate. But we're rebels, and we're just going to go for it. Hope that all is well. Here we are. Ready? <laughs> okay, Whoa. wish me well, everybody. <sighs> Gorgeous. It's hot. It's totally going to melt. <laughs> it's okay. Live television, everybody. Okay, did I get all the sides? Come in the front a little bit, this corner, that corner. Good. There's one little corner down the bottom here that's not. I keep missing it. Ah, ah. crazy. Oh my God. Oh, why? Come on. Why? <laughs> no. No. It's, no! Oh, it's uh, no. no, no. Why did it? I. <laughs> so give me a second. Wait a minute. Oh, hold no. on. Okay. okay. Oh, now you're making me mess it up. Okay. No. Everybody, no, no, calm no, no. down. No. Okay. No. It's no. there. No. Don't don't mess it up. Don't tip I'm it off. I'm showing you something. Oh my god. My light. If you can oh. see. Nothing is perfect. Oh. <laughs> Not, oh, look, no, it's going off now. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so this is a good learning uh, mistake. So what would have happened if the uh, temperature was cooler, it would have covered everything. It wouldn't have been as thin, so it wouldn't have shown. Melody, you things. have to cover that, or I'm going to be very, very upset for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you have to cover that. I can't. I can't. What if I just turn it no. around? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, absolutely oh, okay. not. Got yeah. Can you just this corner. This, oh, this, this oh, down oh, there. Oh, That's the corner. Oh, oh, it's still no. there. It's still there. Oh, okay, can I do? Oh. No, no, no. I, I don't want to upset. Um, oh, it's Penny. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, it's still there. 
I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> I am gonna murder. Oh, thank you. Right. She's cute when she has a temper tantrum. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wow, that made me sweat a little. All right, so <laughs> it is cooling off now. You can see it staying. <laughs> yeah. Better. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of let some of the waves show. So you want to just. Let it run down is why I was doing that. Ooh, Hi, Sweet really Spot handy. Gang. Hi, Sweets Gang from Angie. Hey. Hi, Slaking Angie. Full is said it's glossy. It is so glossy. Basting the cake. Glossy, glossy. How about that corner? Perfect. Is it better? Yeah. Okay, so while this oh. is dripping. Oh, there's still some. Oh, no, 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 it's I underneath. That's it. underneath. I just can't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's a perfect world, it would be completely covered. Okay, so really quick, we're going to bring out another look from the gorgeous Eden Eve. And this is on brand for the cherries. She's such a profesh. Put your hands together for Eden Eve. Sexy cherry red yeah. metallic capri pants with a, a little uh, midriff showing there. Ooh, Ooh. Beautiful. The smile is really all she needs. It's to funny, wear. this awesome. one's so much naughtier. Mm. It is like, like than the color, thing. right? Yeah. yeah. That red is sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Love it. And where, where would you wear this? Everywhere. Everywhere. She just wears that around the house while she bakes. This is just my casual traveling clothes. <laughs> 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 Eddie, everybody. Oh. Mouth watering. Ooh, so pretty, said Angie. And big hearts from Letty. Oh, hey, Letty. Wish you were here. All right, so we are going to just place some of these beautiful cherries that Buttercup decorated right up on here. She is obsessed. <laughs> okay, yeah, so like I said, in a perfect yeah, yeah, world, yeah. timing, but we do what can we can. Can you just eat this like this? I don't recommend it, only because I mixed the gold, so I don't know if it's edible. But make sure you at home get edible gold leaf and make sure it's edible. But when we eat this, we're going to be You're poisoned. not going to eat this. Just eat that. I, I'm already poisoned. Such a drama. Okay. So. <laughs> and she's going, going, going. Oh, oh, going, oh, she's on her way out, and it, oh, it's final breath. Academy Award nomination, best web series, supporting actress. And, and she's gone. No, no, she's not. She's back. Um. Oh, oh. So stupid. Penny Pivot's there wearing melodrama. Did you say that? I did say that. That was me. Are you okay? Okay, I didn't even did eat it. Fix the... It didn't even make sense. That bit did not even make sense. I just really wanted to skip to me because. Hey, you were at kill time. Um, okay, even the music's gone, but that's good. Okay, so <laughs> do I catch it? Yeah. This is... Oh, Angie's blaming Ted for her tardiness to the show today. How dare you, Ted? But she's here now, and she said the dessert looks amazing. It looks so beautiful and decadent. <laughs> also, like, there's sensuality in this. Oh. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, should we cut it first? Yeah. We'll reveal. The, dude, you're the baker. Dude. Bro. I do want to take a photo of it once it's opened. You need a hot knife. Hey, hey, hey. Do you want 
Remove this away. out of the way. Let's take that away. Let's clear the. What do you do with all this chocolate? Oh, there's all that left it over. Right into my mouth. You can save the chocolate. Okay. We're going to cut into the cake first. Because I want to take the photo with the ice cream. Can we get and the Academy Award goes to Penny, said Rex. Start. We're going to use nice. this. What is that? It's a cherry cake. Can I eat it? Real cherry. Are you saving it? Yeah. You eat it. We're using this sweet spot custom knife from Messer Stahl. Mmm. You can see that. This is so it's soft. Cool. It's good, right? Yeah. It's made with cake flour. All right. We're going in. Wait, what's Let the me... difference between cake flour and all purpose? Uh, cake flour is a bit lighter. It's like a, it has a lighter crumb. You can kind of, you can tell. The texture is so different. All right, I'm just going to heat up my knife. Hot knife. Hot knife, cool morning. This is the um, cherry amaretto, I believe. Ooh. Did you already see that? No. Oh. All right, so we're going right in the middle. Not Main Street. We're so proud of local Vegas things. Yeah. Um, local so, Vegas is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Local Vegas. Downtown is Vegas. Sweet spot. Survive. Thrive. Fuck the strip. Go downtown. Oh, I mean, I like the strip. I'm a sucker. All right. You got to say that because there's money on the strip. But listen, go to downtown. I like the strip. That's what I came here for. Okay, okay. But like you like old vintage. Oh, Wait, can we just say? Oh, oh, that is so pretty. But I'm just saying like downtown Vegas, there's so much history in there. Go drive down like Main Street. Yeah. Muscle, Beautiful. Boulevard, keep going and look at all the pretty lights. Ooh. Can you see? It's oh, let me, you know what? Let me, um. Let me go up, like, do a little focus in on you. There's some love in my bakes, y'all. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. I hold it up again. So you can actually see the brownie layer that I mentioned earlier that I hate. But we don't need to judge me for that. And, uh, but that's what it looks like. And it's really sweet when you don't tell someone and you open it up at the table. That is so cute. And it's not very difficult to make. It is maybe not the easiest thing because there's a lot of steps. But look at how sweet that looks. And it's a burst of cherry. Again, because of time, we've cut into it a little early. You should let it sit out and let the mousse come to I can't hold my hand on this show. All right, so we are going to serve it up with some ice cream, take some photos, and then eat it. And this flavor, what was this flavor? I think it's cherry amaretto. Oh, yeah, you can see the chunks of almond in there. But also, if you go to the creamery and you say creamy, they have a cream sauce. I read that on their side. So they need to heat that up. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work. Yeah, you know. Okay. I have a spoon. I wanted to do perfect little round balls, but that's not happening. I know. Let's just try and form a ball. Oh, do you, you don't do the thing, you know, that fancy thing where they do the. Where they put two spoons and then they're like, Oh, you want to show me that fancy? Oh, I don't know. I can try. I mean, I'm going to mess it up, but I like the way. Oh, I remember what. What is that called? You know what I'm yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> what? Hey, we have like five minutes left. We got to eat. <laughs> I'm so hungry. All right, so I'm demolishing this ice cream. All right. What is that? It's called something. Like Who a, knows what it's called? Someone Google it. Okay. It's like a finet. Fin something, right? Sure. That is gorgeous, said Letty. Get in my belly. I think it's, it's definitely not something. Yeah, Fresnel or Fresnel. 
Yums from Angie. How are you so thin? I gained pounds just watching this dessert, said Angie. This is Angie. entertaining, at least. Angie, we love you. We love you. And we can't wait for you to visit in the end of Feb. Where, do I, where am I supposed to put this in your mouth? But I did that for 45 minutes. I know. <laughs> All right, well, here, look, like this, look, look, mine looks better than yours. You know, I really promised Amy oh, that see? I would get a see? really beautiful photo. Oh, All right, you know? But it look, looks mine looks better. I, you should have had me do it. Yep, you go ahead and you do the rest of that then. And I'm going to get some plates. Or why don't you get, why don't you get a, a nice plate and then we can make a, a nice, here. If we make this hot, will it work? Well, this I don't know. Warm right now, so it might. What's? I'm done. <laughs> You're done My job is done in the kitchen. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. okay. All right, where's that plate? And. Oh, this thing just doesn't work. I tried to show you. <laughs> wait, look! Wait, wait, don't no, look at that side. Wait, my wait, 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 there we go. What do I know? This is my kitchen. That doesn't look bad. Okay, how about that? That doesn't, I mean, it's sliding because it's like super melted. So let's take one beautiful slice and photo. I'm sure they the make it look so easy. Really riveting. <laughs> That one wasn't as good as a disaster. This one didn't work out either. Right in your mouth, exactly. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's serve it up and let's try it. I want you to eat this. I really want you to try the brownie. It is gluten free. It just so happens to be gluten free. But not the other parts. Yeah. Everything's gluten free? Except, yeah, everything's gluten free. Really? Oh wait, the no. Cake flour, the bro. cake flour. Yeah, yeah. No, the brownie's gluten free. I guess it doesn't matter if the cake is. <laughs> Whatever. Unless you just eat the brownie. The brownie is made with almond flour, and it is made with pistachios and walnuts. It's uber crunchy and delish to wash. That's why I ate the entire thing, and you didn't get to see me do the method with it. Don't oh. judge me. Okay. Almond oh. flour is a good. Um, Substitute like a, a flour substitute yeah. for gluten free and almond you can make and it. rice, um, and some tapioca flour also. But you don't don't put too much tapioca flour. So you're like, do you see that face? All right, we're cutting slices. Let's see it. Wow, this looks amazing. I wish I could be here all the time. You always really deliver that script, girl. Oh, there's the heart. It's so cute. I'm gonna take this. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, put a little ice cream. Yes. A little ice cream bowl, yes. and then take a little photo okay. for for Amy, and then we're gonna eat. Oh, I'm so excited. It's I'm nice and it. rich and creamy and nutty. Mmm, nutty. Okay. What's your elbow there? I'm just gonna lay these down. Elbow protection. Elbow. Okay. Ooh, and each slice, you just get a little surprise of love in there. You guys, come on. Oh, beautiful. Okay. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And we wish you all could be here with us. But then there wouldn't be enough to share, so we're not that sad. <laughs> See, that's my, I'll take that. Sorry. You could make the chair and cake gluten free. Okay. Can, Can I, I take that? a picture of that? Not okay. Yeah, yeah. Look. yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I did get a photo when I, when I made it the other day, but not with the uh, ice cream. All right, everyone else is getting just like regular, right? Yeah. yeah. On or next? Next to that way they have the choice. Ooh, our bodies doing out there? Our choice. Our bodies are choice. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and one more, even though I've eaten the entire cake for myself. Woo! I'm very lucky that I have my little puppy dog that I can take on mile-long walks every day. Yeah, I think that's key. I think when you have desserts and things, it's important to also move around. <laughs> After you get all like cracked out and you're like, ah, I gotta move. And then like you move around and you walk around and then you're like. like Should that. we invite everybody to yes. into the kitchen? See you guys. See you next Friday.